Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Oh. Got front row seats of a nature documentary. I reckon she might have looked it. Oh. Oh. It sounds like a crocodile hissing. Woohoo, fish on. The final product. Good morning, guys, and welcome back from a beautiful little tropical <laughs> island on the Great Barrier Reef somewhere. What are we up to, friend? Yeah, we are on our way north to the tip of Australia on our four months long trip. So if you're new here, guys, subscribe to the channel. I think we're maybe six episodes in. There's plenty more to come. But first thing this morning, it's a low tide and we've identified an animal that we really want to catch. It's sort of our arch nemesis, isn't it? The yeah. elusive manta <laughs> shrimp. So we're going to go for a bit of a walk first thing, see if we can catch any of these crazy critters. And then the rest of the day, we'll see how it unfolds, but it's going to be bloody awesome. Subscribe and come along for the ride. Let's do it. So the manta shrimp are a crazy little creature that lives under the sand. And to be honest, for years we've swum over them. I haven't even realized they're there. They're that well camouflaged, but we've now worked out what holes they live in, but catching them is a whole different story. So we'll see how we go. First of all, we're going to need some bait. Oi. Any? Mama, missed them. Oh, we got one. We got one. <laughs> one very unlucky hardy head, but that's all we needed. We just needed one. Oh, I'm so happy because <laughs> I didn't want to waste the other one, so I'm happy that. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. One. That was. That was all planned. <laughs> this looks like the perfect mantis shrimp pole. There's a few more. I'm already dreaming of mantis shrimp pasta. Oh, there's heaps of smaller holes here. Yeah, I think this one is pretty oh, good. Oh, this is definitely one good spot. All right, we just found a couple of holes. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in and trying to get a manatee shrimp. They are favorite things to catch, but are best enemies because we can never get them. <laughs> Got a really good cook up in mind. I think no good. It had a little pull, but it came off. So your turn. All right, on to the next one. <laughs> Look how pretty this shell I found. Oh, and there's a turtle shell as well. I hope this doesn't mean crocodiles. Oh my God, I think I'm on. Really? Yeah. Is he pulling? Yeah. Oh. No. no. Bloody hell. There was a big one. That is crazy. Look at the setup there. Oh man. It's a promising sign anyway, guys. And they're able to grow them back pretty quickly. They're constantly losing them when they're having their own battles with other bigger and badder manta shrimp. So he'll grow that back in no time. So Fred is getting super frustrated down there because these guys are so hard to catch. So in a couple of years of trying to catch them, We've really only caught a couple of them, so we've got no problem finding the holes today, but actually getting them to get hooked in the right way is so difficult. So it's not like fishing where you can just hook them and pull them out. You've got to rely on them taking the bait a certain way that they get tangled up and then, and then pulling them out kind of really easily, so. Try again. I had it on for one second. Oh my God, he's hooked, he's hooked, guys. Really? Yeah. No! Oh no! Oh. He's coming out so nicely. Was he hooked the whole time or just yes. right at the very end? No, he was hooked the whole time. Big bust up over there. Wow, they're going for it. Far out. That's where you caught that mackerel last time. There's a heap of birds feeding up here. Looks like they're diving on that school of bait fish that's been hanging around for a few days. So let's go check it out. Oh, he got one. So did he. Yeah, they're after him. As soon as one gets it, everyone else wants to scavenge off him. The birds actually have quite a low success rate. There's a lot of bomb dives going on, but it's quite rare they actually get one. Bang, there he goes. This is awesome got front row seats of a nature documentary happening like 10 meters in front of us. This is amazing. Jack just spotted a trevally in the school of bait. Where did he 
go? I don't know. The bird's shadows look like fish. Come out, bird. Oh, bird, I'm going for it. There's one GT came cruising through, but he must have kept going. So we're taking a bit of a break from mantis shrimping just because it's getting a bit too frustrating for us. But we're gonna we're gonna keep going later. Sure are. <laughs> we're determined. <laughs> Woohoo! Fish on! <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Woohoo! I think it's one of these little emperors. Oh yeah. It's a nice size one. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> Catch and release. Thanks for the fun. <laughs> he was probably big enough to eat as well. It looked like a thumbprint emperor, very similar to the one we caught yesterday. This tree must have been in the water for a long time. It's huge. Hey Jess, there's one here. Oh, you found one as well? He found one as well. I reckon she might have hooked him. Really? So he's hooked, he's pulling very hard. Holy moly, he really is. You I'm just gonna get him tired a little bit and then slowly pull him up because the other ones all let go. Oh my God, I can't believe you hooked one friend. This is a big one. All right, come on, easy does it. Easy does it. Easy does it. Holy moly. Has he gone around the corner? I think he's gone around the corner. No. Oh my God, I'm getting so frustrated with this guy. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Holy moly. Oh. Look at the size. Holy oh. moly. Look at the size of it. We finally got one. Oh. We got one of these crazy creatures. The giant mantis shrimp. Holy, look at him. Wow, well done. He is coming home for dinner. The system pays off. Yeah. I'm on, I'm definitely on. This doesn't want to come out. It's strong, this guy. I don't want to. Oh. Holy moly, he just pulled it back down. Get ready. Get Holy. ready. Get ready. Look at the size of it. Get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Holy Woo! moly. Man, that's huge! That is the giant mantis shrimp! Whoa! What a crazy animal, eh? Wow! Persistence paid off! We got one! A five! Oh my god, my heart is just... Get him on the beach! Yes! We got him! <laughs> Be very careful not to put your finger above him. I know. You will know all about it. You can almost slice it off. All right. We finally got our arch enemy, the mantis shrimp. And I got a very special cookout for you and mine tonight. Oh, but I cannot wait for that. Fran's been talking about this all day. We were just missing one ingredient, the mantis shrimp. But now we've got that, it's going to be bloody awesome. While the weather's so good though, we've finished circumnavigating this island. We've still got plenty of daylight. So let's go explore one of the other islands here and see what we can find. Be sure. Something's hit this and just jumped. What is it? Oh. That's a robin. <laughs> Woohoo! What do you think it is? I don't know, but it jumps. I like. Paramandi oh. jump. It's shaking its head a lot, maybe like a trevally. I really don't know. I really don't know. Just a little trevally, but it felt a lot bigger because the boat was moving so quick against it. It's a little jiffy. He's got a lot of growing to do yet. It's only a little GT. See you, mate. We spotted a good coconut tree over there. So the wind is absolutely howling out there. It's probably 25 to 30 knots, so it's really limited where we can explore. But the good thing about that, it's forced us to explore somewhere we've never been, which is so exciting in itself. So we've come ashore here. We're just going to have a bit of an explore, see what we see. Cattle sprint. Let's follow it. And probably dingo sprint. That's cool. Dingo tracks, that's crazy. So we're on the mainland now, so there's a whole heap of other species that we haven't been seeing on the island. They're definitely dingo. 
and there's some big like cow wild bull poos as well there is a serious amount of mangrove snails here hundreds if not thousands of them wait did you hear that it sounds like a crocodile hissing let's go have a look That really, really sounded like a crocodile hiss. I'm just trying. Can you hear that? The noise is coming from like 10 meters, oh, 20 meters that way. I'm gonna try to get a bit of elevation and head across. I think I've found our crocodile sound. When the wind moves these trees in a certain direction, it sounds exactly like a crocodile as the branches rub against each other. You can just hear it in the background there. Those two trees. See? What have you found, Fran? The sand here is full, full, full of these little snails. Oh, they're the baby mangrove the baby, snails. Yeah, the baby mangrove snails. There's I've never so seen many. so many. Ah, and March flies. March flies? Bummer. I hate them. Let's keep going, eh? What do you reckon? We go get some coconuts? Yeah. Coconuts, fine. Let's do it. One nice shell find, which makes it worth coming ashore. Very small bailer shell, these are called. What did you spot, Jack? Yeah. Big female mud crab. They're just out of reach. <laughs> All ready? So windy. You're blowing around up there. <laughs> Thank you. Big as your head, I think I need two hands. We haven't had coconut in so long. Yeah? It looks so crocky. It just looks so likely for a crocodile. I thought for sure there was going to be one here. Good cast. No fish though. Head back to the boat, you reckon? Yeah, I think let's move on. It's yeah. getting a bit too windy. Yeah, it was nice to explore somewhere new, but let's get back to base camp. Let's get out of the wind. Mission success. Success. Let's get out of here. What do we got there, Fred? It's rain to them, but look at their claws. Crazy, hey? These guys have got the fastest punch in the animal kingdom. It's crazy. And there's so much meat in the tail. I'm so excited for this cookout. So I'm just trying to get the meat out of them. Actually, never done th that before, so I'm just treating them like crayfish. <laughs> got a tough shell. What a crazy weapon they've got up the front here for grabbing fish. They're in the best of best fish kitchen. Special cookout, and it's a messy shrimp pasta. Ingredients are lemon, ginger, garlic, vegetable stock, and pickled cherry tomatoes. That a friend of ours, Marco, gave us. So thanks, Marco. I Champion. Hope you, hope you approve the cookout. Olive oil, pepper, and messy shrimp. Yum, yum. <laughs> So we've just very quickly boiled them, which hopefully that will allow us to extract the meat out of the shell a little bit easier. The final product. Amazing. I am so excited for this. It's my first time eating manta shrimp. So after a couple of years of chasing them, I finally get to taste them. So good. Yeah? You happy with it? Mm. So what would we rate it? Difficulty out of five? Ten out of five. <laughs> I'd say difficulty five out of five and taste five out of five. For sure. I agree. And stuff with the crab and the crayfish. Well done. Well done. It's its own taste, eh? Like it's sweeter than a cray. Beautiful. So tender. 
Uh, today we are two weeks in a four month trip so I really hope you guys are enjoying the episode if so you can leave a comment below and we have a look as soon as we get reception yeah guys and if you're new here and want to watch the entire series in order from where it started you can click on this playlist here as Fran said we've got plenty more to come so we're hoping to get up to areas that we've never seen before and see things we've never seen before. So it's gonna be a big trip. I hope you join us for the rest of it. Yeah, thanks so much for watching and thanks especially to our Patreon for supporting our adventures.